number four. On Meme Week, all these songs were memed. They were memed. memed. Or they were they were memed or they were just straight up memes. This song's by Drake. It's called Hotline Bling. And this song was very memed. It you know, what's memed, the thing where memed, you're like... It's memed to this day. Oh, yeah. Well, they do the, the that not my thing. This song's been memed not for, my thing. what, seven, eight years now? Yeah. Nine years? Well, you know what's funny about this song is that it's been memed in a way that's not really like making fun of the video, but it was made fun of a lot when it came out. The song? Yeah. The, no, uh, the music video. Not uh, the song. The song was insanely popular. Oh. Right? I, well, I mean, the other one was. I remember this song being on the radio constantly, and I was very bothered by how many times, <laughs> how many times I had to listen to it. But the music video is hilarious. Oh, that's of what I, I remember. Ne- I've never seen it. You've never I've seen o- it. I've only seen the memes. One point nine Bs, and you've never seen this music video. Well, one of them is not me. Yeah. I've played with feet before. No, you're the baby. Yeah. I love feet. You know I like you. you know. You used to call me on my You used to, you used to Yeah You used to call me on my cell phone Night when you need my love, call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love, and I know when that hotline bling that can only mean one thing. I know when that hotline bling that can only mean one thing. Ever since I left the city, you. Got a reputation for yourself now. So we were about a minute in, and this is pretty much all it is. It's just him kind of dancing around in different outfits oh. like that. <laughs> it's just, you know, him just kind of. <laughs> is that what people were making fun of? Yeah, they just thought it was funny. This is a cool shot. Yo, this is all really cool, but it was always him just wearing different outfits. <laughs> and uh, one one of the most ridiculous things that ever happened in the song is uh, Donald Trump hosted Saturday Night Live uh-huh. in like 2015. And he made a version of this song on Saturday Night Live. Donald did? Donald Trump. Made a hotline bling song? Yeah, and it's him. And oh. it's just like him and doing the dance moves. And I think it's him doing his like Trumpy <laughs> dance moves. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh. We should watch Everybody that. Everybody <laughs> knows and I feel left off. Girl, you got me down, you got me stressed off. Cause ever since I left the city, you... Yeah, I can see it. I mean, they're just holding this shot for way too long. And when he came out in that sweater, it was pretty sick, too. That turtleneck sweater. I think it was a lot funnier in 2015 or 16 or whatever because of the clothes he was wearing. Oh, I see. I mean, things, I think because of, like, different social media platforms and all this stuff and how absurdist and not only just absurdist, but how common every type of clothing is worn and seen and just, like, we're we're desensitized to it now. So I see this of like oh, I don't see anything wrong wrong with what he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean I noticed that too. Any any old movie I watch now, I does n- none of it looks weird yeah, anymore. Like, nothing nothing looks weird anymore. Every yeah. era, you know, back in the nineties when you'd watch that so seventy like show, Little House on the Prairie. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, we got Little House you know on what? the Prairie freaks that's wearing true. that on TikTok. That's true. These days. People don't dress like don't dress like <laughs> they're, pill- they're cosplaying Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> you know, I was watching. I was watching a reenactment of the first Thanksgiving. And I was like, these people are dressed like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Who wears buckled hats? <laughs> Try to get your hat strapped in. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it doesn't fly off. Yeah, I guess that's true. You know what? I will say eras that are still no longer acceptable. Um, 
uh, like uh, founding fathers era, the stockings, the men's like knickers and stockings. Well, we could bring it back, Joe. Yeah. Do you know why that is? I think we ought to. (laughs) But uh, before I go on a tangent too long, do you know why that is? Why? That that was an attractive thing. Men's calves were considered very important in uh, physical attraction back then. Oh, they were sexy. So it was all about about showing off your calves. Really? That's right. Oh, I bet they had weird ass like little exercises that they did for their calves, <laughs> and probably a lot of them didn't work. <laughs> a lot of them were completely they're just ineffective. Doing these, they're just doing these calf yeah. raises all the time. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> George, your calves are fantastic. <laughs> you should be president. <laughs> yeah. Little known fact: George Washington <laughs> just had sexy ass calves. <laughs> That's, That's what got him on there. Yeah. They can only mean one thing. Ever since I left the city, you, 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 you and me, we just don't get along. You made me feel like I did you wrong. Going places where you don't belong. Ever since I left the city, you, you got exactly what you asked for. Running out of pages in your passport. Hanging with some girls I've never seen before. You used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone <laughs> I have a question about this dance move here. Do you think he's doing his dance move because he's Canadian and he likes ice skating? <laughs> <laughs> it did look like he was ice skating. Yeah, I think that's what, I think that's what he was going for. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, as we've called him before, Cold Weather Cowboy. That's right. Yeah. Late night when you need my love And I know when that hotline blink Oh, you dab? Yeah, it's a maple syrup dab I know when that hotline blink This is the, yeah, that's the coat This is the meme coat These days all I do is wonder if you're bending over back Was for someone else Wonder if you're rolling up a bag Was for someone else Doing things I taught you getting nasty For someone else you don't need no one else, you don't need nobody else, no. Why you never alone? Why you always touch a roll? Used to always stay at home, be a good girl, you was in the zone. Yeah, you should just be yourself. Right now you're someone else. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. <laughs> Late night when you need my love. I like his dancing. And I know when that hotline blink. That can only mean one thing. I know when that hotline blink. That can only mean one thing. Ever since I left the city. Oh, okay. Oh, and then you just have like a real dancer going. <laughs> and him. Look at that. Oh. What is this? A freaking extended cut? I like that I waited until you. Oh. I think Drake is good at hugs. Or you think he gives a bad hug? I think he's good. Yeah, it seems like he's probably good at, but he's also a good actor. So oh. he could just be pretending to be good at hugs, but in actuality, he would like to give a cold hug. Do you think but that he can give a warm? Do you hug. think that matters? What? Whether, <laughs> <laughs> whether whether he's just pretending to give a good hug or he's actually. Like in his heart? Could you tell based Only on at like... at the end of time, Joe. Not now, but at the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> you 
God will be the judge. God of that, right? will judge us yeah. all for our hugs, <laughs> for, <laughs> for our fake hugs, and our, hugs. And, our, and our real. Yeah, hugs. yeah. You know what? If you're not giving a nice, firm, like I'm here with you, hug, then you're a liar. And I want to. I want. <laughs> then you're a liar. <laughs> I want to. I want to feel your heart rhythm against mine. Yeah. That's what a hug is. Well, it's a heart you, to heart. Well, only if you go left. Everyone goes right for. Th- no, 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 no. Only if you, only if you go right, you get the heart to heart. Yeah. Everyone goes left. And yeah. Don't well, because touch they hearts. don't want to share their heart to heart. That's right. That's the main issue here with uh, humanity. And apparently Drake, supposedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> the rumor mill is out on Drake. Yeah, the rumor I heard. <laughs> the rumor is out on Drake on whether Drake or not. Drake doesn't like to hug heart in to fact, heart. <laughs> in fact, gives heart to heart hugs. Um, uh, the song is, uh, so the song's about, about a girl, right? This is going to be my professional analysis here. Okay. It's going to be, it's about a girl that uh, you, he, he used to hit him up. Mm-hmm. And and it seemed like when he knew when that hotline bling, bling, bling. when that hotline ring, bling, ring, bling, Joe, uh, he would, is that the sound of a uh, phone makes? It <laughs> bling, 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 bling. And also shiny lights up like bling. Oh, okay. Um, she, she would, he knew that meant one thing, which is, you know, pound city. But Downtown. it seemed like he was upset that she was going and rolling over for someone else and bending over backward for someone else. Mm-hmm. It's very suggestive. And he's really thinking about her and other physical relationships with other people. Well, he's insecure. Ah. So is this more of a song about his insecurity or about her being unfaithful? Uh, It's insecurity because she's just a booty call from the get-go. Oh, that's true. There's no love here. But maybe maybe he wants her to become more than He's a hotline. He's just like. a lonely emo ass. <laughs> oh. oh. You can call wow. me on it. Yeah. <laughs> Drake <laughs> is a, a meme lonely with, ass. Make a meme with my, with my face that yeah. says, Drake, well, you know what I said. I won't say yeah. it again. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, that, those are fighting words. <laughs> Yeah, have you seen Drake? He's gonna beat you up, and then he'll beat you on the court and beat you up. He's a good. I mean, he's probably taller than me at least. How tall is Drake? Uh, I think the audience. I'm five eleven. Are you now? <laughs> yeah, with my shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. You don't, you don't well, plan right, on seeing. You don't plan on seeing Drake without shoes <laughs> on. So I am always wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan on getting a fight on Drake without my shoes on. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right, I'll be honest. I'm five ten and three quarters, okay. but I've been ridiculed for saying that. Everyone just says they say just say five eleven. You sound like an idiot. Ah, uh, well, you know what? Those people just don't want to believe in the truth. I could say I'm five ten, and I could say I'm a tall five ten. <laughs> I'm here. I'm a long five ten. <laughs> I'm here to fact check you. Um, uh, either way, I, you know what? The dancing. Was as much cool. as it means, I, I, I think I've used a handful of those dance moves in the past. That's not, just how Joe dances. Generally. I'm not very good at dancing, um, but I think you're a little better than Drake, actually. <clears throat> objectively, wow! Objectively, <laughs> <laughs> everyone, I'm objectively. <laughs> I think you're objectively is, better at dancing which is, than Drake. Which is, <laughs> which, which is just it it's just it, there's empirical evidence it's just it's matter of fact <laughs> that i'm better than drake at dancing based on this music video based on my subjective <laughs> choice based yeah. on my subjective opinion but you know drake's done a lot of things that i can't do and so uh yeah. i guess i guess i get one win in the get one, one thing in the win category. well joe i'll tell you what drake can do that you can't do what is grow a beard oh and I know that hurts to hear, but someone's had to tell you. <laughs> you, you might not ever get there. <laughs> I won't either. I'm not, I don't know who I'm saying. I can't, I can't at the age that either. I've gotten, I've I'm, I'm tapped out. All right, I'm getting a scraggly here and a scraggly there. You I gotta hope, both, brother. I gotta hope for less hair on the head and have it just move down to my face. Yeah, or I could shave my head and tape it to my face. It's really your best bet. All right, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> 